Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Screaming Pirate EDC. Uh, today is uh, going to be a little bit more of a special review, but first, let's keep some consistency and go over what's in my pocket. So I have the, oh, I'm going to forget it, the i5T uh, Olight. Uh, this takes, I think, double A's, great little light, and the Skull Hank from Little Hanks. Great stuff. Really like that Hank. Used a lot. Next, we have coffee in my Yeti with the sticker. And speaking of stickers, die cut and circle are available. They are $2.50 a piece. I will have a pop-up for my email or Instagram. You can message me on either location. All right, guys. So, Today's review, like I said, is a little bit special, a little more special than usual. It is the Brian Brown Mini Warthog. Now, this particular Mini Warthog is actually the winner of the, at Blade Show, the 2021 Blade Show, the best tactical folder in the custom category. Um, this particular one of the uh, Mini Warthog has what he calls... Uh, the, I believe I'm looking at the card right now, the dino hide that he, uh, hand dimpled here. Also the pivot on both sides, the backspacer and the clip are zirconium and they are oil slicked. That's what he calls the texture there. Um, he also put some speed holes in here, um, kind of lighten it up from that zirconium looks fantastic. Now, before I talk more about the knife, I wanted to kind of go into how it was obtained. Um, so this knife specifically was one of two lotteries that Brian had at Blade Show. Um, so day two, uh, I talked to the uh, the guys at Keenison and then walked over to Brian's booth and my wife and I both entered the lottery. About an hour later, we're in the back of the main room and my wife gets text and she bumps my arm and goes, oh my God, we won. And I was like, won what? And she goes, we won the custom. So I'm freaking out and we just go running over to the other room. I get over there and go, okay, Brian, I got no money. I got nothing. He goes, you got PayPal? And I was like, yeah, I do. And he's like, sold. And I was like, all right, done, done. I'll take it. Um, so that night I am passing it around at dinner, had dinner with uh, Israel over at Arcane Designs, the Keenison guys, and uh, old man Bob Pancho on uh, Instagram and my wife. And I get a message from Brian saying, hey, um, I need the knife back. It just won me best tactical folder. It's like, what do you mean you need it back? And he goes, they're going to take pictures with it for the magazine. Oh. So we get back to the hotel. And I give him the knife. I bump to him almost immediately. The entire night. People were like, where's the knife? And I was like, well, I don't have it. Brian does. I don't know what to tell you. Um, so it was, it was very odd, very interesting. Also, I kept getting corrected. And I'm still corrected that I did not win the knife. My wife did. <laughs> um, but with that being said, guys, the next day, Brian messaged me about an hour before the end of the show. And I walk up to him. And he's literally clutching the knife like this to his chest. And he told me later, he was like, I almost refunded you. He goes, it's my first award. He goes, I, I, he goes, I almost refunded you and kept it. So with that being said, guys, this is not only my first custom, but it is very special. Now, as far as the customs go, I've seen not a lot, but I've been to two blade shows and I've handled a fair number of knives. And honestly, guys, this just, it just speaks to me. I just really enjoy it. Um, I love the hole here. I love the harpoon blade. It is honestly fantastic. I love the grind. It's super thin. Um, in hand, large gloves. So about four inches from here to here, and then about 7.5 from here to here. And as you can see, that knife fits. I can choke up and put my, hand, my thumb way out here. I can extend my thumb. It's just comfortable. I just really like the knife, guys. Uh, and it just, it, it's a whole different level of a knife for me. You can feel the craftsmanship in this. And also something that uh, I believe it was somebody on Instagram said something that uh, customs do that you just don't get in other knives. So when this knife fully closes, I'm gonna put this up to the microphone because I want you to hear this. 
I'm gonna do that one more time. You almost hear this, this like clicking noise. It's that detent literally suctioning in on that knife. It, it's really cool. Um, but also, one other touch that I want you guys to see on this knife, on all Brian Brown knives right here, inside the lock bar, he does his signature, his little like logo. But on this one in particular, he also did it on the lock bar side so you can see it through this hole. It's very cool. It's a nice little touch. Also, the screws here, you don't see them on the other side because he took detent balls here and here and he oil slicked them. It's a cool touch. Uh, the clip, you don't see any screws because he tapped literally this side of the scale and put screws in this way. I mean, that's that's really tough to do by hand. Like, it's really tough to do by hand. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, it's just, it's a gorgeous piece. I really love pretty much everything about it. There's very, very little I would change personally. Um, I really love this Warthog. Now, I want to give you guys some size comparisons. But before I do that, I wanted to tell you that as of this video, uh, June 20th is when I'm filming this, uh, this knife does not belong to me anymore. It is no longer mine. Uh, I've sold it to um, another person who uh, gave me a, a very good offer. Uh, put it this way, um, having best tactical folder adds value. Uh, I will not go into how much because I think that is uh, something that is not good for neither that person nor me to you know, go over cost. That is our own personal business. But I will tell you, I paid thirteen fifty at table for this knife. Again, it's a custom piece. I know it's a lot of money to a lot of people, and customs aren't for everyone. But I feel like this is just truly a special piece that I couldn't I couldn't pass up. I just couldn't. So now that we have that done, let me do a few size comparisons and I'll just kind of show you guys this because this is going to be the first and only video of this knife since it is sold for me. So actually, I'm not gonna start with this knife. I'm gonna start with another Brian Brown that I have. This is the production of the Jaeger. This is the Jaeger M. So I want you guys to see that side by side and kind of see what the difference is between Brian's models. All right, let me kick him shut. Next, I wanted to show you guys it next to the CKF Evo 2.0. Big belly on the bottom one, obviously, but just very cool blades, and I want you guys to see them next to each other. All right. And lastly, uh, a blade that reminds me of the flat here in the belly, the Koenig Arius. Very interesting because I feel like the belly and the tip are reminiscent. I love a good drop point, but I'll be damned if I don't love a harpoon blade. Harpoon blades are just, I love that your thumb can sit here. I love this piercing tip. It's just, They're gorgeous to me. I think they're the prettiest blades. Uh, but yeah, guys, it is one special knife, and I think that the award is well-deserved. Now, going over kind of like my personal preferences on this knife, I like that I can flick it open. I think the detent is perfect. I think if you're looking for drop shut, you're not going to get that because it's handmade. That detent bar is going to be a little bit farther in towards the knife. It's going to be a little bit tighter, and it's going to wear over time. But I'd rather not have a drop shut action and have a good dial detent like that. It's very, very nice. But once again, if I... Yeah, it just, it's crisp is the best way I can put that. Everything about this knife feels crafted. I really don't have another ways to put it for you guys. Um, all this dimpling is just, it's so perfect. Everything about the knife just feels like it was crafted and, you know, touched by a craftsman is the best way I can put it, guys. Well, hopefully you guys are enjoying looking at this knife. I have a bunch of photos over on my Instagram of it. Um, if you guys uh, want to reach out on Instagram, I'd love to chat knives. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this review of my very first and uh, now gone custom. Uh, if you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And go ahead and comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.